Hello, this is Bear from Bear Wave. How's it going? Here's a new video update on Bitcoin. As we did last week, we're just gonna quickly go over the different counts. One of them has been validated, so we we know that that doesn't count anymore, and we can move on to the other two counts. And quickly, we're gonna go over them, see what's happening, what could be happening using the other way theory, as always. So. Here, I'm, I'm going to stick for this video. Again, it's going to be a short one. I saw you guys enjoyed it last time around. So I'm just going to keep the same format for, for this video as well. So let's just bring in the alternates. So here, I'm just going to stick to the main count um, as the what I call the super extension. So basically a series of one and two throughout the years, and which obviously bring us to a uh, very extended wave count for Bitcoin, which predicts uh, upside um, in the following years, and um, that upside could be reached. And I don't know how much time, but the target obviously would be even above a million dollars. So I'm not saying that that's correct. I'm just saying that for the purpose of this video, we're going to stick to that high degree count. And today we're just going to focus on what's happening and uh, what could be happening within a few weeks to a few months um, from from now. So the the wave count that has been validated is oh let me find it not this one but see, I already lost it this one. So in this wave count, let me zoom in for you. Again, a top here with wave one. So from from there, we're trying to to track down a corrective move. So we like to, to see this as corrective because of the three waves, the initial three waves down. We know that three waves a trend don't make. Therefore, we see this as corrective and not trend establishing. So that's why if this is the top, it's, it's very hard that we will see an impulsive move to the downside from there because this it's hard to count it as three. I, Sorry, S5, I see it as, as a three with move. So with that being said, we we have an ABC with X, so down in W, up in X, and three ways down again into wave Y. So from there, I was seeing the possibility of having a wave one and two, and then again one, two. So what we usually call a nest, one, two, one, two, to then look for, for their upside. Now the validation level was here, because obviously that's start wave one and we do not want to see wave two of go retracing past the starting point of wave one which it did as you can see the the red line was a validation line so we know that this count is no longer valid so what do we do do we panic absolutely not we were electricians we have alternates we always have alternates so here are the two alternates counts one of them is a regular ABC from the top. So down in A, three ways up into wave B, and five ways down into wave C. Now, as I said last time, the only thing I do not like about this count is how this wave four is significantly larger than this wave two. Now, I know that wave two and four alternates, so that kind of makes sense that they're different in, in shape and size. However, I would expect more of a something like this, maybe a sharp wave two, a sideways wave four, but yet of the same magnitude. It it would have taken longer in terms of time, but the magnitude, so the size of the retracement, the percentage of the retracement would have been pretty much the same. So that's the only thing I do not like about this count. But let's assume this count is the correct one. Then what should we expect? Well, we can expect for the downside, potentially, this could be wave one or five. So now three ways up, and then for the downside, to then potentially resume higher. So that's what I would be expecting. This wave five, if we are waiting for wave five, does not look complete. Therefore, we could expect for the downside. Now, to avoid the, the problem that I see in wave four, I came up with another alternate. Now, you may ask yourself, 
well, Barrett, you have so many different counts. It, it, isn't this cheating? Shouldn't you pick one and trade one? Well, yes, I should pick one, but when, when we're not sure which one to pick, when we're not sure which one to trade, it's good to have multiple and then depending on the scenario, trade accordingly to what we believe. And that's when L wave becomes a bit subjective. Um, I wouldn't say it would be totally subjective, but that's when the trader must make a choice. So the last count that I have is what I call a triple combo. So again, W, X, Y, again, X, and now I'm waiting for further downside in wave C. So why do I like this count? So this count solves the issue I had with what was here a wave four in the previous count. Because this wave X looks a lot in both, mostly in size as this correction. So this two correction, they look a lot alike. If I hide all the tools, you can see how it, it almost looks. You could almost argue this is one, two, three, four, and five, couldn't you? But because of what I said at the beginning of this video, that I struggle to see five was here, but I see three, that's why I see this as corrective. Now, an interesting point about that is that Perhaps many people could think this is five and that could be a good sign that we will indeed resume higher and that was not a five wave because the market doesn't care. I mean, it does care what most people do and does the opposite. So it's, it's not what you believe. It's what you, what you see. So that's an interesting thing perhaps to, to, to keep note of. Um, but again, here it looks like we could have a five wave move completed right there with an extended one. So now we could be looking for upside in wave B, farther downside, and potentially moving higher. Now, those are the, the counts for the short term, relatively short term, obviously. Um, if you're the trader, this is long term for you. But Another thing we could focus on is the trend channel. So W and Y connected to X and that you get your estimate. So we were pretty close. We missed it by a bit, but that again is additional confirmation that we could resume um, lower. Um, another thing, one last thing I wanted to show you apart from the averages, the EMAs that on the daily, we are still below all, all averages and uh, especially the, the 20, the red line, which could act as a support, per, uh, sorry, as a resistance. Perhaps we could break and then move lower. I guess we'll find out. But one last thing I wanted to show you is volume. So if we take the fixed volume range and we look for point of control, we see how the point of control, point of interest, color whatever you want it. So basically a point where there has been the most contracts is here. So 10,000. So does that mean that we could go all the way down to 10,000? I guess it's possible. Obviously, we it would make sense for the market to move that lot much lower because here, as you can see, just, just by price action is where we start having lots of in a, in a way please forgive my my metaphor it looks like there has been a fight here doesn't it between bears and bulls it looks like they were fighting that didn't know didn't know where we were going and eventually it broke higher so obviously that reflects to a lot of volume as obviously there kind of was a fight between them so lots of contracts been exchanged and that's where we could be headed next. Now, I don't know if we'll go down there. It's possible. I'm not excluding it, but uh, can we see further downside in the near term future? I think so. On the 
obviously on the fundamental size it does look like we will be in a risk on environment soon so it all makes sense so once again i hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching please remember that tomorrow i'm going live here on battery wave at noon est which would be equal to 5 p.m london time so tune in if if you want to ask for for anything and i analyze whatever you guys ask for and please if you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments what you like and what you didn't like if you have any recommendations any any things i could fix um or as well as anything you, you want me to to take a look at or any question in general please if you're not consider subscribing and uh, don't forget to like the video and thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next one